Hello, creative souls, and welcome to Self Care Saturday. I am excited to be here today because I am going to be showing you how to use an Oracle deck to give you inspiration in your journaling. Okay, so I have the Art of Healing and Manifesting deck, which is what I created last year and just got some more in stock. And it's called Oracle Deck for Clarity and Guidance, the Art of Healing and Manifesting. So uh, the question that comes up is like, how do I use the deck? You know, I get the deck, so how do I use it? And I like to use it for my own art making. Uh, I think it's a really wonderful way to, um, you know, use for inspiration because on one side of the deck, I'll show you here, is you're going to have artwork, which is on here, right? And then the other side of the deck, you're going to see, it's like a rainbow. You have a rainbow here. Uh, these are related to the chakras and each one has a message for you, okay? So wherever you might need guidance. So if you need healing, then the card that you pull, that's how Oracle decks work, is all about your intuition of what's being um, drawn to you, right? So if you need healing, there are cards in here for healing. And then there's also direction cards for manifesting. So if you're in that manifesting state, wanting to call some one of your desires into your life, uh, they have that in here too, okay? So what I'd like to do to just start off um, is to shuffle my cards. I do like them as a rainbow, but just to let you know, um, shuffling your cards will, you can also knock them, get the energy, clear the energy of them. So when I get my cards, I like to shuffle them. I'm just mixing up all those colors, mixing up the colors of the rainbow. And I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin um, so that you can see how I lay them out because I like to lay out my cards. You could just pick them, um, you know, just like, Pick, pick one out like that, but I like to lay them out so that I can just kind of close my eyes and just rub my hand, like on, like hover it on top and then pick out what is, is being called. So I'm just shuffling, 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 shuffling. What you'll need, you'll need your deck. Um, you'll also need a journal because we're going to be journaling. And if you'd like to get your paints together, you can get your paints. I love working with oil pastels. So I have a stack of oil pastels, okay? So the card is gonna influence what we're going to journal about today, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my other screen here so that you can see it. You should be able to see me and um, the myself and the, the card deck right here, okay? So like I had mentioned, I'm going to lay out the cards and the cards do have pictures and that's what we're gonna use for our inspiration. So just laying them out. All right. Okay. And then I like to close my eyes, right? Close my eyes and kind of just tune in to what I'm feeling for today whether I need some healing or whether I need some manifesting and just setting my intention, just calling in what do I need to experience today? What do I need to be open up today? Just letting source come through. What message do you have for me? Okay, this one is what I am pulling. Ooh, the solar plexus. How cool, actually in the creative soul, um, society uh, membership this week actually next week next Sunday we're going to be creating about solar plexus art we're making oracle cards related to the solar plexus art so this is called shine your light ah I love that um, power so my message for today and for you because if you're here watching them I'm sure this is trans transferring to you too is shine your light stand in your power just show up as you are what is something you can do today to share your gifts with the world well Awesome. That definitely resonates with me because 
I actually just packed up my car. I have, I'm um, going to be part of a art festival. Well, it's not really an art festival, but it's a um, good libations festival, but they had asked me to come in and do some live painting and I can um, share my artwork. So that is how I feel like I'm standing in my power. So I love how the cards, it, it's just amplifying um, what I'm already feeling. It's like, I know that's my message is to, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to connect. I'm going to make some new relationships. I'm going to share my art. I'm going to set up my art there, right? Okay, so I'm going to put away the cards and then I'm going to get out my sketchbook and I'm just going to just, you know, with manifesting, you want to compound the energy. And I feel like I'm in that manifesting phase. If I'm not, I don't feel like I need healing at this moment. Um, you never know. Time we, we might need healing. <laughs> Life happens. But I feel like I'm in that manifesting mode. And if you are in good vibes, you feel like you're in alignment, um, this is the time to manifest, right? You want to compound the energy. So compounding the energy is, Let's make art about it, right? Let's make art about um, this power. What does that look like for you? What does it look like for me, okay? So here is, I'm gonna have my card here so that you can see it. And then I'm gonna get out my journal. And I'm just gonna get a fresh page. Ooh, I'm using my journal a lot. All right. So I'm going to put this here so you can see how I use my journaling and how I use my Oracle deck to inspire my art. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm definitely going to be using the color yellow, and I'm going to be thinking about what does power mean for me, right? So I probably might just even write that out. So this is the solar plexus. Solar plexus is right here, right here, and it's looking at um, your self-worth right? The opposite of that is shame. Shame will block that energy. So looking at your self-worth, your confidence, uh, your boldness, and stepping into your purpose and your power. So that's what we are um, um, bringing in, right? So we're amplifying that today. Okay, so I'm going to write the word power. This is how I like to start off. Sometimes just with that intention, using my card. It actually looks like it's coming out backwards on my screen. Oh, well, it looks good there on, on, uh, on my neck. Hopefully you guys can both see, I'll see that. So looking at power. So just energetically, what is coming up? How can I play with this? Right? Faithfully adding colors. Definitely want to add that yellow because that's the energy. So where are you in your life wanting to add power? Maybe you feel like you need to step into your power. That's that the healing part is like, what's blocking you? What's blocking you from showing up, from sharing, um, from sharing your gifts, right? Sometimes it's procrastination. Sometimes it's fear. Right. Just being honest with our feelings, we really, to learning how to regulate your emotions, you have to like name it to claim it, right? You got to say, where am I maybe playing small? And what can I do to maybe, you know, show up a little bit more or let people know of my services or things like that? Um, so think about in your life, like, how does that relate to you? Where could you stand in your power a little bit more? Maybe it's just speaking up for yourself, like at a, a meeting or just participating more, right? Um, if you're a part of any kind of like membership or group, it's like, maybe it's just, you know, sharing your thoughts more and, and being a part in that way. Okay. So I did some oil crayons. Um, I'm now looking, maybe I want to add some paint. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple colors so that I can playfully add some stuff. Got some gold, got some yellows, um, some my favorite blue. 
Um, so these shoppers, just to tell you a little bit more about them, they um, they have certain um, elements that go along with it. So for example, the solar plexus chakra is related to the sun, right? So it's that fire energy, right? So um, a lot of times transformation comes from within and it has to do with like your gut, like your stomach. So thinking about, you know, how um, you hold your power in, in, in your gut, right? And then how fire is like restorative, meaning that like if it burns down something, burns down the, um, like the forest, right? It's going to create new growth. And sometimes we have to get into that energy of, of transformation and burn down things that aren't serving us, right? So that the new growth can come in. So even me showing up today, it's like, hey, I want to show you how I use um, my deck to kind of tune in to get some messages. This is it. This is how I do it. Right. And I showing up today, it's just like, Hey, I want to share, share the love here. So I talked about the element, which is fire for the solar plexus. It also has, um, animals related. Right. And so I have another solar plexus. I actually, I have a a new bundle coming out and it's, and it's painting classes. So each chakra has animals associated. So one of them is the tiger, right? So looking at this one's called relaxed in my power. So the, he's, he's, his solar plexus is shining and he is relaxed in power. So that's how I'm feeling. It's just more relaxed. How can we just be relaxed in our in ourself, in our confidence, and sharing ourself. Okay, so what else do I want to add here? I think I'm going to add some more pink and gold. I'm curious if you have your own journaling practice. This is something that I started this year. I've been really wanting to just, um, I've been doing a lot of writing in the morning, a lot of journaling that way. I really wanted to add the art element and it's been pretty powerful for me um, of just getting back into my creative flow. So I'm actually gonna be doing a free uh, three-day experience um, called Creative Flow, Get Into Your Creative Flow. And we're gonna be using, doing some journaling and it's gonna be about healing and manifesting. One day is going to be about healing. One other day is going to be about manifesting. So you're welcome to join us. That's going to be November 11th. Um, you just have to register um, in my email, my newsletter list. And yeah, we're going to create art together. So as you can see here, the power. Just adding that. I'm going back with my yellow. I'm really liking this yellow and pink together. This is fun. All right, I hope you are inspired that you are grabbing your journal right now and thinking about your own power and how you're showing up. We have so many ways to tap into this. And I love art because art is just right in front of your face. You get to, to look at it. So here is the power. Right? And then just playfully adding colors. So you are welcome to post your art um, your art journaling in the group and just kind of show us and let us know how, what are you doing today to step into your power I would love to hear from you um, because I think as we do it as a collective it's even more powerful right it's like it amplifies it so when you see one person doing it then another person would be inspired 
So go ahead and, and share as well in the Creative Soul on the Mitri group. And just looking at your power. And then I'm going to write another word. Shine. I'm going to add some gold, one of my favorite colors to, to add. Let's we'll clean up my brush a little bit. I went to the art store this week and I did not pick up more gold. I'm like at the end of, <laughs> I'm at the end here uh, where I'm going to need to, to get some more. All right, so some of the cards, um, they have pictures on the back, so you can either use um, a picture or use, some of them have words, so I put shine your light, mine has shine my light, um, and then it has a Sanskrit symbol as well with the yellow. So yeah, I'm just kind of playfully using the card as inspiration. Some of them have portraits of people, so you can, Whatever you feel, do some mark making. Awesome. Okay, this feels good. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna let this dry and I don't know, I feel like maybe one more time around with this, with the black. I'm adding a little bit of yellow. This light is kind of like a little candlestick. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Just a fun journaling exercise, just amplifying that energy. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, and enjoy your day. And let me know um, in the group uh, what you're doing today to stand in your own power. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here and sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day. Oh, and if you would like to check out the painting classes, I'm doing a bundle. Um, each class has either some sort of nature element or animal element related to the chakras and balancing that energy. So the bundle is, uh, I'm going to be releasing it tomorrow. And it's 134 for the, the, you actually get 12 painting classes. Seven of them, of them are related to the chakras. And then... Um, you get the Oracle deck and then you get the book too, which also, also has the directions and all the information about the chakras and how you relate it to art. So yeah, so you can check out my site, the whole bundles 222. Um, really excited to get these out to you. And I can't wait to see your chakra sets of seeing them all lined up and seeing you in alignment and stepping into your power. So yeah, if you're not on my mailing list, you are welcome to join at leahguzman.com and check out the bundle. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing your paintings. Bye-bye.